On Cornell Beckley was the only person charged in the worst mass shooting in Cincinnati history. Nearly two years ago, several gunmen fired hundreds of rounds inside Cameo in the East End. Megan Mangello explains why no one else has been arrested. Cornell Beckley was originally facing 38 counts, but as part of the deal, he pled guilty to just one involuntary manslaughter. Cornell Beckley walks towards a prison cell facing a 19 year sentence. He had a courtroom full of supporters who think it's unfair. He's the only one locked up. They didn't go out to look out to see if anybody else did the same crime. They just stuck it all on him. And the, and the evidence they had brought forward showed like it had to be more than one person to do this. It don't make sense. There are many other people who are at large who are involved who are not here before the court and not before any court. It's only my client. Two people died that night. DeAndre Davis, who was also a shooter, lost his life before he could be charged. The other man killed was O'Brien Spikes. In a shocking twist, Spikes' own mother spoke out in support of Beckley, saying he was her son's friend. If they were doing their job like they were supposed to, none of this would have never happened, and I still have my son. So I would not like to see nobody else lose their son. Oh, uh, of course, for years and years, when it was a whole bunch of people doing a whole bunch of wrongdoing, he shouldn't be the only one charged with this. Even the Hamilton County prosecuting attorney, David Prem, says Beckley wasn't the sole gunman, but he took part, therefore is responsible. I can tell you as a matter of fact that the state of Ohio had evidence that this defendant shot one innocent person, at least one innocent person, in the leg. Uh, Mr. Spikes died as a result of a through and through injury and I don't think there was any determination as to the caliber of handgun or firearm that was used. Bullets flying from multiple weapons have investigators working hard to sort out the chaos. Today Cameo is shut down. A boat shop has opened there. A new start for a place that saw so much tragedy. Part of the reason Beckley was arrested was because of his fashion choice that night. He wore a red leather jacket to the club, so it was easy for police and witnesses to identify him. In these court documents from July, it shows Beckley tried to give police a fake red jacket, and he also tried to bribe witnesses into not testifying against him. At the courthouse, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. A wrongful death lawsuit continues against former Cameo owner Julian Rogers. He says he created, it says he created an unsafe atmosphere by allowing people to bypass security in exchange for a higher cover charge.